Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing The River. That's a new game from Days of Wonder. It's a worker placement game where we are going to be trying to build structures and forests and all sorts of things along, you guessed it, a river. Here are our rivers and I'm playing a two player game today against Little Glass Marty. We each start the game with four workers, an empty riverboard, one worker stranded here and let's go. So I am going to be the start player because I have got the majestic first player ship. On your turn, you grab one of your workers, you find a space for him, and do that thing. So, we need to start the game first, though. We need to start with one of these tiles, and it's going to go in our very first space. In this game, you always build from the very beginning of the river here, and you follow it along. The river snakes along, and that's how you're going to place your terrain tiles. So I'm thinking, to get started, these symbols mean storage, resource production, or this is a special one that means at the end of every single round, and there isn't a definite number of rounds this game. At the end of every round, you're going to get a wood, and it's worth two points at the end of the game. So I think this one comes with a stone production and three storage. I want to start the game with this. Now, Marty, a wood at the end of every round could be really nice. Or he gets this one. It's only one storage, but it's two different types of terrain. And there is some kind of matching going on here, because at the end of the game, Every column you've got that's got two of the same type of terrain on it gets you two points. Every column with three of the same gets you six points and it can be a huge deal. I think though, hmm, he's gonna go for, he's gonna go for wood at the end of every round. So this one gets discarded out of the game and now we fill up the entire display with terrain tiles. There we go, as if by magic. Oh, and some admin. If you haven't already, please turn on the Klingon subtitles. If I've made any mistakes, they will hopefully be noted up there. If you want a fan of handheld camera videos, there is a static camera option. It's linked in the description and there's a nice camera overlooking me right now that'll be nice and steady for you. So on your turn, you have four workers. You grab one of those workers, you put him in a spot. So the available actions are grab a terrain tile. You can do that up to twice. There are two separate sections for each player. You can come over here. As many people can go on here at the same time as we like. That is build a building. There are these building cards over here. You can either build one from the display or one you've previously taken into your hand. You can grab the first player token. Only one person can do that. You can swap terrain tiles on your board, which you might want to do for later for the set collection. You can grab some resources. You produce as many resources as you can see symbols on your player board. So at the moment, I've increased my stone production from one to two by taking that tile. And finally, you can come over here and grab yourself one of the available three building cards in the display. These give you points, they cost resources, and the sooner you build them, the better, because there is this little stack that changes based on the number of players. The whole board actually changes based on the number of players. There's another side to it with more spaces. Uh, but the first person to build one of the building cards will get themselves six bonus points and put it on there. And so the bonus goes down and down as we go through the game. The first person to build their second building and so get their second bonus token will unlock a new worker. So let's see, we need a lot of stone out there. Three is the minimum we need. We need brick as well. I think I'm going to start myself off with some more resource production. I'm going to grab myself a terrain tile and it's going to be this one that's going to get me an extra stone and an extra wood. I don't have a choice of where it goes. It goes in the next available spot on my board and that's my turn. Now Marty could be quite sneaky here and take the only stone production space. There's only one production space per round for each of the resources. I think though, he's gonna grab himself a terrain tile. It's gonna be this one. That's just a one-off that gets him four stone right now. And this is, you know, it's limited in this game. There are only nine of each type of resource apart from the food, the chickens, who are, they, they are wild cards. They're crazy party animals, but there are only four of those. Marty needs to take this stone now and put it in his storage. He's nearly entirely filled up his storage spots on his player board. My turn, I haven't got that problem as much. I would really like this tile here that would give me a brick and another storage space, but I would be covering up a brick on my board. So I would be gaining the storage, but not the brick. It's better than the other tiles that are out. Maybe I should still do it. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm gonna grab another tile while I can, because this is 
well, it's not really a race, but the game ends when someone has built four things and got four bonus tokens or filled up their entire player board with terrain tiles. So that's my whole turn. Marty is going to go straight for building because he spotted that this little structure here only wanted four stone. It's only worth two points on the other hand. So I've realized now that I've put the player boards a bit too close together, haven't I? For the effect of this. Marty's going to build that. He pays his four stone from his storage and takes the most valuable bonus token. So he's really earned himself eight points for that. My turn, and I think after all that, I better produce. I'm going to produce stone. One, two, three. So I grab that three and place it not on the stone symbols, but in my storage sheds. Marty's not particularly interested right now in getting another terrain tile because it would wipe out his stone, his only stone production. So I think it's quite tempting for him to take first player away. He could take one of the building cards. Like if he sees the one that's three stone and three bricks, he could store that for himself. I think what he's actually going to do is produce some bricks, which is only going to be one, but that goes into his storage and he's hopefully slowed me down if I was going for that one. I can, on the other hand, though, just go for wood here. I produce one, two. So I grab those, put them in my storage. Marty has one more turn left. He can take the, the card that needs wood now away from me if he wanted to. But I think what he's going to do is take first player away. So he's going to get first pick of the new terrain tiles. So the ship goes over to him. It's the end of the round. So these terrain tiles get discarded. And we get five new ones. This new type here gives you a point for every desert tile that you've got at the end of the game. We top up the building card display. We don't discard the ones that were left. So that one wants a lot of bricks and nothing else. And finally, we take back our workers. Okay, I think Marty is gonna start off trying to go for these bricks. He's gonna grab this building, which does wipe out his stone production, but he's gonna produce a lot more bricks now. I think he's going to move this to another storage building for now because he's hoping to put something there. My turn. I do want to get resources. See, I need one more stone. I know Marty can't produce it though, so I'm not in danger of running out of that. I should probably look at the terrain tiles before they all disappear. Now, I would quite like something with storage on, really. So I don't lose the storage spot that's already on my board. I'm going to do it. Let's grab this tile here. That goes on my board. Marty is gonna go for terrain tiles again, I think, because even though this would lose him a storage space, he can now produce bricks once and have enough to do that card. He'd have five bricks. Now I could get in his way, but storage space is already quite limited in my town. So I think I am going to produce the stone that I need. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four stone. And I've only got just got enough space to hold all of that. Marty can't have any more terrain tiles. He wants to do his building though, doesn't he? He needs to get his bricks. So that's going to be four new ones, if I remember right. And he's got one, two, three, four spaces. I'm going to do some building because I now have the resources that I was waiting for. So I need to pay one wood and four stone. There we go. And we can now tuck this under. Oh, I'm going to have to move my boat out of the way. Is that still on static cameras? I promise you that the boat is still there. So, yeah, leaning right over to do that. I get my five point token, which is a shame for Marty because he was very nearly there. His last action, though, is going to be to spend all of his brick and he's going to build that card that he was saving up for. Here we go. So that is going to be four points for the card and another four for the bonus. And look at that. He's unlocked his new worker that he can use straight away. Well, on his next turn, it's my turn now. I, what do I want to do? I've still got some resources left over. Do I want another terrain tile right now? Now, what I have to think about is, when I add one more terrain tile, someone needs to go and live there and uh, prop up that village. Uh, so I would basically go down to three workers next round. So ideally, I want to build something before I do that. 
I think I'm happy with staying second player. I'm going to come over here and generate some wood. So it's going to be one, two, three. Because even if I don't need this wood, we haven't, come, we haven't run into this yet, but it's worth knowing that at the start of your turn, you can trade in resources three to one. Three resources equals one food. And then food is a wild card that you can use as something else. So even if it, even if it happens that a card needing wood doesn't come out, I can still use the resources for something, but it would be a bit more expensive for me. Marty's got his extra card. What's he going to do? He could go and get a food. It's the only resource thing left. He's already got first player. I don't think he wants to swap things yet. He can't build anything. He's not particularly interested in storing that card. Yeah, he's going to get himself one food. So that's the end of the round, and I'll set up the new one. Okay, and here's what we've got. Now, Marty's very tempted by that huge storage building, but also by this production building. One more of everything. Yeah, I think he's going to start off with that. He's going to go for another terrain tile, and it's going to be that one. As for me, now what's come out? Nothing that particularly helps me right now. I need more brick production, really. This one needs two bricks. And then I could have that. But yeah, they all need bricks in some form, and I don't produce it very well. I can go and get this. But then it does cost me my worker at the end. Marty's already done that, so I think I'm safe to do it. Let's take one of my workers and get a new terrain tile. There we go. So I can produce bricks okay now. But unfortunately for me, I think Marty's seen through this plan. He's going to make himself his four bricks. Now this is going to fill up his storage though. And seeing that, I could go ahead and take that storage building away. I would lose myself a wood production by covering that up. But I think it's worth doing because there's no other storage available this round, look. So I'm going to come over here, grab this storage tile away. Matching is going terribly, isn't it? But we can swap around later. So that's quite frustrating for Marty. I think he's going to trade three of these in for a food. And then what does he want his action to be? He can try and make sure he hangs on to first player. No, I think he's going to take another tile, actually. He's going to grab this. He's already got two mountain tiles, so that's another one, although it is losing him that wood production. Over to me. I can't get bricks. There's nothing that only needs one brick. But what if I... How much stone production have I got? One, two, three, four. I could surely go and get some stone, like this, and then maybe turn some of it into food. Marty is going to do some, what does he want to do? He, he's going he's gonna to produce some wood, I think. What does he get? Just the two. Maybe he should have done that earlier. Oh, he gets a wood though, doesn't he? Yeah, we've missed that for him a couple of times now. Oh, no. Notes already. He does get two wood there though. And my last turn, let's see, I could do three wood, one stone, and then if we turned one, two, Three, four, five, six. We can turn six resources into two food. And now we can use our last action to go and do some building. And we can do this one, I think. Three wood. Uh, one stone. And two bricks, which is the two food. So that comes under here. And I get myself three points and my new worker. Marty wants to hold on to first player. Mm, no, he's going to do some swaps. He's going to line up his mountains like that, even though he's going to have to swap this one later so it matches up with one of the grass tiles. But he's got his mountains all lined up now. For my last turn, then I think I'm going to take first player away. Okay then, in cleanup, we each need to put a worker in these little villages, so we've now lost those workers effectively for good and I'll just set up the rest of the round. And here's what we've got, only one storage building again. And yeah, still need a lot of resources for all of the building cards that have come out actually. Okay then, first thing I'm gonna do is, it's not a great benefit to me, but it kind of is. I'm gonna grab this tile, so Marty can't have the storage really. It increases my storage by one, and it does line up forest to forest. 
So it's quite good. Oh, that really does mess Marty up though as well, doesn't it? Because he doesn't want to lose these only two, he's only got four storage spaces. He can't lose two of them by taking one of these. This one would give you points for every brick you've got up to three at the end of the game. I think the first thing he's gonna do then is take first player for next round to try and make sure this can't happen again. I think I'll do some stone production because I've produced a lot of that, don't I? One, two, three, four. Marty doesn't even really want to do any swapping. Marty, I think, has figured out a way around his dilemma. He's going to turn these three resources into a food, and then he's going to collect some stone, which seems like a waste, but hopefully he'll be able to show you why it isn't next round. So he can only have two bricks because that's all he's got space for. I think I'm going to generate some wood then. I only get two. Yeah, I think I've only got two symbols here. Marty is going to claim a card. Now, you can have up to two building cards in front of you, and it means that they're reserved for you. Nobody's going to take these away from you. But also, you get a one resource discount on building these, and this is how Marty's going to be able to build one of these six resource things with only five. My last turn. Let's see, I don't really want to swap things. I don't really want a terrain tile because it's going to lose me a worker and not really get me a tile that I care very much about. So I think I'm going to get myself a food. Very limited options in uh, available spaces. Marty's going to build. So he needs his one, two, three stone. His one, two brick because he's going to have his discount on bricks. So quite an expensive build there for him. But that's five, seven points, and that's three of his four buildings built. End of the round, nobody needs to lose any more workers, so I will get rid of the things from the board. Well, the building card that came out is very good for me. Okay then, let's look at the terrain tiles. Marty wants loads of these. This, a point for every planes, and he's already got three, and this is one. But he's, gonna, he's got to go for storage, I think. Does he increase his storage and give himself a bit of options with the type? Or does he increase his storage and give himself... Does he keep his storage the same and give himself a stone? I think he needs to increase it, doesn't he? There we go. It's gone up by one, and this can get swapped around later to maybe match up with this. My turn. I've got the resources for a building already. I don't think I want to let Marty have this, though. I don't want to let him have that, but it's really useless to me. It's worth, it's worth a point, basically. I haven't got any of those tiles. I think I would like some more storage and production, though. Marty is going to grab that tile. So we're both going to lose a worker at the end of this round. I'm going to build a building and try and catch up. It's going to be this one here. Since I already have the resources for it. Three stone. Three wood. And that's five points for the card. And one more point from here, so no more bonus points available. Marty's going to grab some bricks, I think, because it's the thing he produces the most of. How many is it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's good. So yeah, he's nearly full on storage again. Maybe, maybe he should have taken the other storage building, thinking about it now. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. I think I would like to get stone back. It's the thing I produce the most of, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we each produce five of something. But I've got a lot more space to keep it. And I think Marty's finally going to produce some wood. So he produces two of it. And oh, he hasn't actually got space for two of it. So maybe into card? He can't get another building. I think... Okay, he's going to grab first player back. So yeah, we need to try and be the first person to build one more thing. Or maybe... No, he doesn't want that. He wants the wood. He's going to turn three of the bricks into a food. And then he can take the two wood. And for my final turn... I'm kind of thinking I should have some more tiles. I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab this. It's matching up without any swapping at the moment. I could swap, you know, these two to make another match or, yeah, and then bring this one around. I don't know how it's going to work yet, but I've got a feeling I need more. I want to try and get some bonuses on tiles. That's it for the round. We each lose another worker to the villagers. Oh, a tile that lets you have two swaps, and it's a uh, plains tile. It'd be good for Marty. I don't think he really needs the swaps, though, yet. 
and the new building needs six wood and two bricks. For my first go, I think I am going to go for terrain tiles. Now, can I? Maybe I want to get bricks instead. Yeah, I want to get bricks and then we'll think about matching things up. I'm going to get two bricks. So I've got to think about maybe doing that last building and finishing the game. Marty is going to go for wood because he can see a card that he can do. We've only got three actions as well. I'm going to do a building. Am I? Let's see, this can be a wood, two stone, and then I could have traded this in at the start of my turn for another thing that I'm trying to say. And then that's three bricks, two stone, one wood. And that's six points. And Marty should have had his wood at the end of the round as well, shouldn't he? Ugh. Marty is going to reserve this card because if I've worked it out right, he can build it next turn. And with my last turn, I think I want a tile. Now getting just a forest tile is four points because it's going from two to six points. But what if we got this swaps tile? We could swap this with the forest one. And this here, I think that's more points, right? We put this down and then we get two swaps. We swap it here. So this column's gone from two to six points. And we swap this one here. And this one's gone from two to six points. I think that's good. Marty's going to do a build. Here we go. And that's all of his resources spent on that. And that is it. So points. Every three resources is a point. Not uh, oh, Marty gets a wood for the because we have a cleanup phase again. So nobody's got three resources. So columns on the river. Let's do this. So Marty's got two, four, 10, 14, 16, 18, 22, 27, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40 for that. 41, 42, 43, 44 from that one. So Marty's score is 44. And if my score doesn't rhyme, it doesn't count. So I've got nothing on these tiles. Columns, I've got 6, 12, 17, 21, 25, 31, 36, 42. So by two points, even with my fancy column rearranging, Marty has taken it. So there we go. Marty wins 44 to 42. I think if all the scores rhymed, maybe I'd remember them. Anyway, that is just an example of a game of The River. I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some idea of whether or not it would be for you. If you would like to know what I think about it, there should be a little link with my face in it somewhere around here covering up my finger. Uh, anyway, though, thank you very much for watching. If you would like more board game playthroughs like this, I've done over 200 of them. Subscribe to the channel. They're coming up all the time, especially around this time of year. Loads of games come out. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching this one. Bye.